have three packages that I've been collecting over the past few weeks and it's only a little haul but I thought I might as well do it on camera. So, first for the big one. And in here I have, oh it's sealed, I have Ferryman by Claire McFall. I got this on eBay, I've been interested in reading it for a while because it's, well let me just read you what it says on the back. When Dylan emerges from the wreckage of a train crash onto a bleak Scottish hillside, she meets a strange boy who seems to be waiting for her. But Tristan is no ordinary teenage boy, and the journey across the desolate, wraith-infested wasteland is no ordinary journey. So, I think, um, so Dylan is a girl, and I think Tristan is supposed to be like her ferryman into the afterlife. Um, anyway, she is going to develop feelings for him, we know, so I'm looking forward to reading this. And speaking of Scotland, is anyone else watching Outlander? Because I'm, I'm making an attempt to get into using Twitter. I don't really understand Twitter yet, but I'm doing my best. And I was trawling through Shannon from Cozy Tea Reads feed yesterday, and I saw a picture of Outlander, and just based on the name, I decided to download the first three episodes, and I stayed up until 5 a.m. watching those things. I am hooked. Oh, we're in this one. The next book is The Interrogative Mood by Paget Powell. I read about this book in... Oh, I don't have it to hand. I read about this book in one of the books I read during Booktubeathon, which was Stop What You're Doing and Read This. And this is basically a book of questions. It's only ever questions. So, for example, Jarvis Cocker has written about this book did I enjoy this book? Why do you think I'm writing this message on the jacket? Does it work? Do the questions lead to any answers? Why don't you put your hand in your pocket and find out? So basically it's a very um, personal story because we will each have our own answers to these questions. Each question will take our minds to different places and will resonate differently with each of us. So I'm, I was really interested in this when I was reading about it in that other book, so I thought I would go ahead and buy it because I found it cheap on eBay. I didn't expect them to be cellophane. Anyway, what does it look like inside? So it starts off, are your, are your emotions pure? Are your nerves adjustable? How do you stand in relation to the potato? Should it still be Constantinople? I think I'm going to enjoy that and it's going to be quick. So there's two of them. Let's have the next one. I'm sweating. Oh, I know what this one is too. This is, so this is David by Mary Hoffman and it follows Michelangelo as he carves the famous David statue and in this imagining the statue is actually based off of this boy who is Gabriel who's a very beautiful boy and it's set in Florence uh, in the 16th century, well barely, 1501 so I think this is going to be really enjoyable. It's not a recent book, by the way. I've actually been planning to read it for a while. And the last one is... <laughs> it's so cute. Reckless Journal Everywhere. Because I, I really enjoy watching the Reckless Journal videos, but I haven't bought my own and I felt kind of left out. But I thought, um, because I gave up on the idea of keeping a diary, I kind of prefer to keep a scrapbook now. And I thought this would be a nice addition to my scrapbook as I'm travelling. If I were to add to this around the world, that would be a nice memento of my travels. So, isn't it cute? That's it next to a normal paperback book. It's so sweet and dinky. So the tasks, I think a couple of the tasks in this overlap with the full size Reckless Journal. 
and then some of them are supposed to be new ones. So this one here is collect numbers from the world here. So I think that's a new one. I'll place this page face down on the ground and kick it around for a while. I think the original has drag it, so that's kind of similar. Cover this page with odd things you find. Choose your own wrecking method. Poke holes through this. Hide parts of this page on your travels. That'll be interesting. So, yes. Oh, and I have a bookmark. From the book depository. Thank you, guys. So, yes. That is my Ickle haul. And I can start enjoying these now. I've only got two weeks left before I leave for Asia. So I'm going to have to get started on reading some of these. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye!